With the 18.5 billion shillings under their docket, the Ministry of Health anticipates mass COVID-19 vaccination to commence in March. 18 million doses will be ordered for vaccinating 20% of the population, equivalent to 9 million people. Each eligible individual will receive two doses, separated by 28 days. Before the money was approved, some MPs queried the $17 price per dose, compared to a much lower price paid by other countries for the same vaccine. Madam Chair, they are even giving prices that now the current price is $2.63. Dollars per dose, and, and I don't know which dashboard are using. So, Madam Chair, Ingenia Warshwaka and my sister are among is busy, busy on technology and doing roads. These things are here. It is quite true that the price on the dashboard keeps on changing. The exact price that will be offered to Uganda will come on our invoice after we have paid a commitment fee. I think it is okay to approve that money so that we can have the vaccine, so that we can help the situation, more especially when you look at the institutions. Staying at home for a year without any hope, I don't think it is, it is it's not proper. But also importantly, Ugandans, we need to put life first. Under the same supplementary budget, the Ministry of Health has been given another 33 billion shillings on top of the 57 billion earlier received for the purchase of face masks. It should also be a process for us as parliament to make a directive to the concerned bodies to issue a report on as far as masks are concerned and audit. Despite protests by the chairperson of the Uganda Land Commission, Beatrice Biencha Nyakaisiki, against compensating 12.1 billion shillings to six individuals who lost their land to government, parliament has gone ahead to authorize their payment. The chairperson of the budget committee and Kachumbala County MP Patrick Isiagi informed Parliament that the 12 billion request followed the due process. The committee therefore recommends that since these funds were requested for specific purpose, it therefore be voted for that intended purpose. If we decided to put this and then we divide among everybody at least to get uh, something. Let me give an example. If everybody got 10 million, we would serve 1,200 people. The ministry undertakes to table before parliament the entire list of people that have uh, a claim on, 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 on the cons on, on, for compensation. Medad Chichoncho, who claimed ownership of the Lusanja land in Wakiso, has been compensated $3.84 billion, while Dodoviko Mwanje, who demolished the Endeavor Church, has been given $3.82 billion for his land rights. The entire supplementary budget approved by Parliament is $292 billion shillings. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Oh, under vote 008.